this video we'll take a look at creating connected line graphs in Stata. For our reference, we are using the aggregated data set as shown in the first video of this playlist. So the first thing we'll be doing is creating a variable containing mean wage by each year. So if I run this command, we will get uh, the mean of wage for each year in our data set, which I've already done. So I can show you. So wage mean, so we can see that we have the mean wage for each different years. Okay, so now let's plot each year's wage and mean wage. So I'll be using this code. And we can see that we have a pretty nice and neat connected line plot where the green color gives us the observations of the wages and the red color gives us the mean wages for that given year. So this tells us that uh, in which years the wage is basically greater than its mean and in which years uh, or in which observations the wage is lesser than its mean. And let's take a look at the code to generate this graph. So we are using two way and to create connected line graph we use uh, the command connected followed by the variable names. And so these two variables come on the y axis and this is our x axis variable here. And we've drawn it for only one race. So race equals to one here. And given the title, we can customize the labels and we can give a graph name, which is G8 in this uh, state of memory. We can further customize the plot. So let's see what this one does. So this is just to demonstrate that uh, different ways we can customize the lines, the markers and the shapes and also the titles. And so what we're doing here is we're creating a connected line plot uh, for these three variables for one race. We have a title which we had in the previous code, but this time um, we are doing, we are creating the, mar uh, we are changing the marker symbols. So instead of using the default marker symbols, we are, we are specifying that we'd like to use circle hollow and diamond hollow. And then we are giving an X title, which we didn't give previously and Y title. So we can give some, any Y title we need in our graph. And this is how we get this pretty neat connected line plot. If you like my videos and find them helpful, then please support my work by subscribing to the channel.